Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Have you ever wondered what goes into making those little pills you take when you're feeling unwell? Whether it's a painkiller, an antibiotic, or a vitamin, the process of making medicine tablets is a fascinating blend of science, engineering, and quality control. From raw ingredients to the final product, each step is meticulously designed to ensure that the medicine works effectively and safely in your body. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into how medicine tablets are made, exploring every stage of the process and breaking it down in a way that makes sense for everyone. So, let's get started. Before any pill reaches the manufacturing stage, the first critical step is drug development. Scientists and pharmaceutical companies spend years researching and testing different compounds to find an effective drug for a specific condition. Once a drug is discovered, its chemical properties are studied, and this is where the process of tablet making begins. But here's something most people don't realize. A medicine tablet isn't just made up of the active drug that provides therapeutic effects. In fact, the active ingredient often makes up a tiny fraction of the tablet's total weight. The rest is a combination of various inactive ingredients, known as excipients. Excipients play a crucial role in the tablet's stability, absorption, and even its taste. These can include binders to hold the tablet together, lubricants to help it glide through machinery, disintegrants to ensure it dissolves properly in the body, and sometimes flavoring or coloring agents. Once the formula is finalized, the drug is ready to move into the next phase, where it's produced on a large scale. The manufacturing process kicks off with the precise weighing of all the ingredients, including both the active pharmaceutical ingredient, API, and the excipients. Precision is key here because even slight deviations can affect the drug's efficacy and safety. Once the ingredients are weighed, they are sent to industrial-sized mixers. Mixing may sound simple, but it's actually a carefully controlled process. Different types of mixers are used depending on the characteristics of the drug and the excipients. For example, some powders may require gentle blending to avoid breaking down, while others need vigorous mixing to ensure uniformity. The goal here is to ensure that the active ingredient is evenly distributed throughout the mixture. This step is critical because it guarantees that every tablet will have the correct dosage of the active ingredient. Once the ingredients are properly mixed, the next stage is called granulation. This process is designed to improve the powder's flow properties and ensure it can be compacted into solid tablets without issues. There are two main types of granulation, wet granulation and dry granulation. In wet granulation, a liquid binding agent is added to the powder mixture to create a thick paste. The paste is then passed through a sieve to form small granules, which are dried afterward. Dry granulation, on the other hand, doesn't involve any liquid. Instead, the powder is compacted under high pressure into large, dense sheets or slugs, which are then broken down into smaller granules. Granulation not only improves the consistency of the mixture, but also enhances the tablet's durability, making it less likely to break apart during packaging and transport. This step also ensures that the tablet disintegrates properly when ingested, releasing the active ingredient at the right time and rate in the body. After granulation, the powder is finally ready to be compressed into tablets. This is where the mixture takes its familiar pill shape. The mixture is fed into a tablet press, a machine equipped with dies and punches that compress the powder under enormous pressure to form solid tablets. The press uses two punches, an upper punch and a lower punch, which come together to compress the powder. The shape of the dies and punches determines the final appearance of the tablet, including its size, shape, and any markings. 
This is where you might see things like a company logo, dosage strength, or a score line for splitting the tablet. Compression is another critical phase where precision is key. Too much pressure can cause the tablet to become too hard, making it difficult to dissolve in the digestive system. Too little pressure, and the tablet might crumble. Manufacturers also monitor tablet weight and thickness closely during this stage to ensure uniformity. Once the tablets have been formed, many undergo an additional process called coating. Coating serves several purposes. It can make tablets easier to swallow, improve taste, protect the active ingredient from moisture and light, and even control how the drug is released in the body. There are various types of coatings used depending on the desired outcome. For instance, enteric coatings are designed to prevent the tablet from dissolving in the stomach, ensuring it reaches the intestines before the active ingredient is released. This is especially important for drugs that can cause stomach irritation or for drugs that need to act in a specific part of the digestive system. The coating process typically involves spraying a liquid solution onto the tablets while they are tumbled in a rotating drum. Afterward, the tablets are dried to remove any excess moisture. The result is a smooth, often shiny outer layer that provides both functional and aesthetic benefits. At every step of the manufacturing process, rigorous quality control measures are in place to ensure that each batch of tablets meets stringent standards. Random samples of the tablets are taken and tested for several factors, including weight, thickness, hardness, disintegration time, and dissolution rate. These tests ensure that the tablets will perform as expected once they reach the consumer. Additionally, the tablets are tested for purity to ensure that no contaminants have been introduced during manufacturing. This involves various analytical techniques, such as chromatography and spectroscopy, to confirm the presence and concentration of the active ingredient. If any tablet doesn't meet the standards, the entire batch can be rejected, making quality control a crucial part of the process. Once the tablets have passed all quality checks, they are ready for packaging. Packaging plays a key role in protecting the tablets from environmental factors like light, moisture, and oxygen, which could degrade the active ingredient. Tablets can be packaged in a variety of formats, including blister packs, bottles, or pouches, depending on the type of medicine and its intended use. The packaging process is highly automated, with machines that count and sort the tablets, insert them into the appropriate packaging, and seal the containers. Each package is labeled with important information, including the drug's name, dosage, expiration date, and any special storage instructions. From here, the tablets are shipped out to pharmacies, hospitals, and clinics, ready for use by patients all around the world. Making medicine tablets is a complex, multi-step process that involves both science and precision engineering. From the development of the drug itself to the final packaging, each stage is carefully controlled to ensure the safety, effectiveness, and quality of the medicine. The next time you take a tablet, you can appreciate the amount of work that goes into making sure it's ready to help you feel better, with each pill designed to deliver the right dose at the right time. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.